friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another live swatching video. Today we're going to be doing the highly requested and honestly like requested to myself from me personally. Um, does that make sense? I really wanted to do these and I've been waiting for them to come in. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. I know it's not super new, but I hope it's new enough for you to still enjoy these eye swatches. I just got it in and so I still really wanted to do them. I have said it like a hundred times this past year. Huda Beauty really swooped in this year and became my favorite brand of all time. What the hell is that? Sorry, I ate a blueberry muffin and I thought I saw a bug, but it was literally a blueberry. <laughs> It was a blueberry crumb. Anyway, <laughs> I've told you guys a thousand times, Huda Beauty swooped in and took place as my favorite brand over ColourPop, over ColourPop was my favorite brand. It's Huda Beauty now. I love ColourPop still and we have so much fun with those videos, but just from my personal, what I like and like me being excited, it's been Huda Beauty, totally. Like they knock it out of the park. I think this palette is gorgeous. I love the colors, I love the textures and I'm really excited for this one. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get going with it. All right, zoomed my beautiful bitches in. Let me get my fat ass down here. All right, let's get started. Look at this beauty. Look at this. And of course we have that lovely little Petri dish eyeshadow. I don't care what anyone says. I love those. <laughs> I think it's cool. A lot of people always goof on it, but I think it's cool as hell. And it's very springy. I will say it's a very springy palette, but also it could be a little winter fantasy-esque, like a gumdrop inspired palette. I know it's Rose Quartz theme, but I'm just thinking like for this time of year, I probably wouldn't gravitate towards this, but then it's like, why not? You know, you can wear pastels in the winter. Is that a fashion faux pas these days that I'm not aware about? We are first starting with quartz right here. One of those cool marbled shadows. One side's kind of more matte and the other has some shimmer to it. You can just use these with your fingers or apply them with your fingers, but a brush works just fine as well. That's pretty. Bit of a very light copper. I'll take it with my finger now. It's very nude. Or just very light, like I was saying. I think this would be a really pretty little inner corner highlight or like a brow bone highlight. The next shade is Aura. I hate that word now. <laughs> if you know, you know. But I'm feeling good today. Got started early, so shouldn't be filming too late. And fingers crossed, no auras today. I'm feeling fine, feeling good. Hmm, just a nice burgundy. You know, a lot of these shades I don't think are going to be spectacular on their own, but I think it's an overall beautiful palette. I really do. I think our winter looks, it's its like, it's giving me like Mariah Carey type of holiday time winter looks. You know what I mean? And it transitions great right into spring. I think we could do it all. Yeah, very nice. Almost a muted burgundy, I would say. That is Aura. The next shade is Gratitude. I get a lot of questions always, and I know I always tell you guys, but just in case anyone asks, how do I clean my brushes so quickly between the swatches? First of all, my Sigma swatch palette is insane. Also, for any deep, deep colors or anything with a bit of a gel or like the quartz shadow that's a little more, I'm not like creamy almost, um, the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleanser is amazing. Super quick dry, all that good stuff kills bacteria, it's fantastic. But just with these powder shades, I just use my Sigma Switch. Oh, that's what it's called, the Switch. That is amazing. Did any of you guys pick that up? I believe it, is it back in stock yet? I don't know. That thing really took the, the beauty world by storm and I understand why, because it is amazing. I had an extra one, which I was really excited about because I wanted one for my eye brushes and one for my face brushes, even though they're double-sided and you can use it you can use one for both. You know this is my type of shade. I love it. A dusty mauve. Beautiful. Not unique at all, but I still love it. That is gratitude. The next shade is Cosmic Love. Isn't this pretty? Oh my goodness. I'm excited about this one. Ooh, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna use my finger with this one. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was out of focus. Thank God we didn't get too far. Look how gorgeous this is. Because it's a little chunkier than quartz was, I would like to use my finger because just that heat and that pressure kind of breaks it up a little bit easier than a brush does. That is so freaking stunning. Wow, I don't want to use too much of it. <laughs> so I'd like to actually use this in a look. I don't want to like ruin it with my fingers just for a swatch. Wowza. That is beautiful. Cosmic love. Mm. I love it, you guys. So, so pretty. The next shade here is Empowered. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. I love how dark it is, yet has a nice shimmer. This one again is one I'm gonna switch to my finger for, just cause it's a little grittier. I love this. It's so smoky, yet it's still really pretty and I don't know, it's nice. 
That shimmer is beautiful. So, so nice, you guys. That is the shade Empowered. And last one on the top is Joy. This one might be a little gritty too. We'll see. Or actually, maybe not so much. Maybe just because it has some sparkles in it. We'll see. Ah, yeah, let's use our finger. Let's just do it. Wow, this one's really cool. Oh, it'll never show up on camera. It'll never show how it looks in person. In my viewfinder, I can see that it looks very disappointing. But in person, it's like this neon baby pink with this gorgeous, really, really warm golden reflect to it. It'll never look, oh, dang it. I'm annoyed looking at the monitor that it looks like that because in person it looks so much better. Trust me when I say it is really pretty and special and unique in person. <laughs> IRL. Dang it, I wish I could get that to show. I wonder if I turn off my ring light, will it show better? No, not really, kind of, not really. Well, you guys, it's unique, it's special, it's really cool. I am telling you, I'm sorry that it's not showing up as cool as it really is because it's pretty awesome. That is a joy. It is a joy, and I'm sorry it looks so disappointing here. The next shade is Precious, and hello. It's a new day, if you couldn't tell. I had to stop filming this video because of just the worst reasons, and I've been crying for days, so I'm sorry that my voice is a little... I mean, everything is fine. Everything is fine. It's just, we had an offer accepted on, like, a dream house. We were so excited. I was filming this, like, all in a good mood. And the next thing you know, they like took it right out from under us and gave it to someone else, basically. So I had to stop the video because I couldn't stop crying. And so I'm picking it up now. Anyways, you guys, I'm sorry. I rambled on forever. This is the shade Precious. It's gorgeous. I love how this is kind of like a soft, dusty, stony eggplant, or I guess more of like a taupe, but there's more purple to it than just being a plain taupe. You know what I mean? Um, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's Precious. The next shade we are doing is Energized. So anyway, there are much worse problems to have. I don't mean to sound complainy or anything like that. I just want it to be over. I used to look at like Zillow and Redfin like for fun, just to like look at houses. It was so much fun. And now I never want to look. <sighs> okay, I'm done talking about it, but I'm at my wit's end. That is Energized. It is so freaking pretty. I love this beautiful metallic taupe. Perfect for the holidays, right? This is a nice little shade for December into New Year's, into Valentine's Day. It's a cute, cute look for me. <laughs> cute look for all of us. That is the shade Energized. Next, we are getting into the little Petri dish shade that I love so much. This is Love Stone. And these you can use literally any way you want, as a base, as a topper, alone as a, a gloss, you know, kind of like an eye gloss which is how I'm going to do it. Definitely has a lot more, I hate to say pigment, but I guess a lot more pigment than the one in the previous palette. I can't believe, I can't remember what that palette was called, but that was where Miss Huda Beauty originally introduced this type of eye glossy thing to us. And I really liked it. A lot of people hated it, but I thought it was cool. But this one definitely has a lot more to it. It's kind of like a blue lavender glossy shimmer. It's pretty, it's so cool. I love these. People are indifferent towards them, but I think they're really neat. So that is Love Stone. The next shade is Cherished. I hope this isn't too chalky. It looks like it could be a little chalky. It is matte. Oh, it's not too bad. I mean, it is like a chalkier color, right? It's a matte pastel, so that can be chalky. It's what chalk is, but this isn't so bad. It actually looks pretty, pretty nice. Wow. I'm shocked I like it. And I hope it doesn't just look white on camera because it does have a beautiful little baby pink tone to it. So yeah, that is Cherished. The next shade is Blissful. I'm so sorry about my nails. It's been a rough week. I like let myself go. I'm telling you, love this color. This is pretty standard. We see these a lot. It's that kind of teal that flips to a red or it's a red that flips to a teal. La -di -da -di -da. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful color, but it's not necessarily unique. Although I will say this one has a certain punch to it. It's a lot flashier than the ones we see a lot. Um, and it's almost, I don't want to say grittier, but it's more sparkly. Sometimes it's just really a straight metallic. This one's a very, very sparkly metallic, if that makes sense. Oh, I love this palette. I love Huda Beauty. Huda, you are the best. Um, yeah, that's blissful. The next shade is Happiness. I love this color already. Oh, it's so pretty. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. A very blue toned pink, almost, almost on the, on the purpley side. God, I always get these like one little hairs out of place and they drive me 
fucking crazy. I think it looks so bad. I hate that. <laughs> it's almost like a Pepto bismol -y pink, but a little more blue toned. And it's a matte, very pretty. Yeah, this palette just gives me very winter gumdrop vibes, which again, you can just transition to spring with and use it whenever the hell you want, really. But at first when I saw it, I thought, I was like, this is a little too spring. But then when you see all the tones and you're playing with it all, it's like, no, definitely not. You can carry this into the winter. Yeah, it's cute. That is the shade Happiness. The next shade is Mantra, bottom row here. What is this, like a deep, is it like an espresso or an eggplant? I don't know yet, I gotta see more on. I need to get my eyes checked. I swear I can't see. And I can't remember the last time I had an eye exam. <laughs> Actually, I can. It was like, it's like my first year out of high school. <laughs> it was like the last time I got my eyes checked. I need to go, I need to go. Yeah, it's like an espresso, but kind of muted, if that makes sense. And I swear there's a bit of a purple to it, but it's probably just super cool toned. That is Mantra. The next shade is Serenity. I love this palette. Look at that. Look at just all those colors together. I think it's so pretty and unique. I really do. I have completely flopped on my opinion of it. Like I said, when I first got it, I was like, it's pretty, but meh. And by the end of it, it's like I'm so romanced by it. It is just the sweetest little palette. I think it is really, really cute. Oh, and that's a nice, sweet little color. Yeah, I think there's a perfect amount of shimmers, mattes some poppy glitter you know types just the cutest stuff it's nice and soft and i would like to challenge myself to wear more eye colors like this because i really don't grab for them ever but i think it's really cute so that is the shade serenity i've been dying to get into this next shade abundance this just looks up my alley Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's anything special. I just love this color. I just think it's so pretty. It's pretty on everyone. It's like a light shade, yet it's a dark shade, yet it's a medium tone. I mean, you could wear it with pretty much anything. It's just flattering. That's really all I can say. It's just a flattering shade. If you've been wanting to wear some deeper eyeshadows, but you can't go too deep, you still want to be more on the safe side, something, and look at that instant smoky eye. Something like this is a safe bet. Um, <clears throat> And because it's that metallic, it gives you that instant smoky eye. It's all one shade, but just depending on where the light hits, it'll be brighter or darker, you know? Shades like that just take the cake for me. They make your makeup so easy, and it's just beautiful and glam and no effort at all. So I love that. That is abundance. The next shade is Moon Magic, which is interesting because in the pan on camera it looks blue, but in person it looks pink. Oh yeah, so it's just a nice duochrome but it kind of only looks blue on my camera. I guess that's why it's a moon magic, huh? Ooh, pretty. Wow, that's nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's amazing! Oh, Huda Beauty, I love you! I'm sorry, I'm just such a stand for Huda Beauty. This makeup is unbelievable. It is so gorgeous and it'll never, never be captured on camera as amazing, shut up, as amazing as it is in real life. I don't know what to say, just go, I'm sure they have pictures of it swatched that capture it much better go check those out because it is stunning that is moon magic and it is literally magic the next shade is radiate which looks really pale like a really pale beige taupe yeah or beige i should say oh it has more pigment than i thought it was going to i mean it's still pale don't get me wrong but it's pretty and actually it's not as taupey as it looks in the pan that's a great little everyday color or you can really smoke it out add some crease color Get it poppin', it's gorgeous though. Makes me think of a, like a nice bridal tone. Simple, easy, you know, it's nothing crazy. That is the shade Radiate. And last but not least, we have Self Love right here. A nice yummy little swirly shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on, on this eye if you don't mind so I don't have to, you know, I can just save myself a little removal. Ooh, she's pretty. It's like a peachy, very creamy peachy color metallic. You know what I mean? So it'd be a great little inner corner highlight or all over the lid for a nice glow. You could use it with a lot of shades in this palette. I love that this is the final shade. I know people don't build their palettes like this, but I always like... I look at the last shade in the palette as like the final shade, which I don't think that's how they construct it, but I am satisfied with this final shade. It doesn't look super exciting, but in person there's this really nice peachy hue to it, and it just looks like a warm, yummy glow. It looks really nice. And I know they're on opposite eyes, so it looks weird, but I think those complement each other so well, those colors. And that is self-love. 
And that is it for this video, you guys. Let me know what you think of the beautiful Rose Quartz palette. This has certainly jumped right to the top of my list. I am so excited to have it accompany me this holiday season and into the spring and whenever the hell else I feel like wearing these tones, you know? I love it though. I really do. It is so cute, you guys. I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, let me know what you think for sure. This is already up and for sale. I'm a little late on this video and I apologize, but I still wanted to do it because I just wanted to try it for my own liking. So I thought might as well share it with you guys still and hopefully a few of you still want to see it. Just thank you. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!